The upper hinge of a data set is the median of all the values to the right of the median of the data set in an ascending arrangement, while the lower hinge of the data set is the median of all the values to the left of the median of the data set in the same arrangement. I did not know this definition, so I'm very thankful for it. So you take a big data set, take the median, take the median of this half, it's a lower hinge, this half is the upper hinge. Of the lower half is the lower hinge, upper half is the upper hinge. So the 25th percentile, 50th percentile, 75th percentile. So 0, 25, 50, 7500. Minimum lower hinge, median, upper hinge, maximum. For example, consider the data set 4326427. When arranged in ascending order, it becomes 2, 2, 3, 4, 4, 6, 7. So seven things. The median is 4. The upper hinge is the median of 4, 6, 7, which is 6. The lower hinge is the median of 2, 2, 3, which is 2. Nice. Definitions are nice. A student has surveyed 13 of her teachers and recorded their work experience in integer years. Two of the values recorded by the students got smudged and she cannot recall those values. All she remembers is that these two values were unequal. So let us write them as A and B where A is less than B. A, a is less than B, not A less than or equal to B. Remaining 11 values are 5, 6, 7, 8, 12, 16, 19, 21, 21, 27, 29. Nice because there's already been arranged in ascending order, 11 different values. A and B sit somewhere in between. Moreover, the student also remembers the following summary measures calculated based on all the 13 values. Nice. The minimum is 2, there is no 2 here, A is 2, that is a big giveaway. Minimum is 2, there is no 2 in the 11 sets, so 2 has to be from one of the people, so the smaller value is 2. And so, so already we are saying, hey, 2, 5, 6, 7, 8, 12, 16, 19, 21, 21, 27, 29. The maximum is 29, that satisfies, B is in between. Lower hinge is 6.5, so average of 6 and 7. So these two could be the middle terms. There could be an additional 7 here, but not an additional 6. So 7 or more is B. B is greater than or equal to 7. A is 2. B is greater than or equal to 7. The median is 12. So to 12's right should be 6 terms, left should be 6 terms. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 are already there. 6 should be here. Or B is greater than or equal to 7. B is less than or equal to 12. 7 less than or equal to B less than or equal to 12. And we know A is equal to 2. And B sits between 7 and 12. We have, so far we have made these inferences. Upper hinge is 21. Yeah, 21 plus 21 by 2. That works. Maximum is 29. In fact, this we don't even need. We can obviously infer this. The other four are sufficient. Which of the following is a possible value of B? 7 and 12. 8 sits in this range. This is my answer. Done. True. Nice. So I'm going to write down the numbers. 2, 5, 6, 7, 8, 12, 16, 19, 21, 27, 29. 7 less than or equal to b less than or equal to 12. This much I know. Based on the information record, which of the following can be the average work experience of the 13 teachers? Add everything up, divide by 13, that's the average. We know that the missing number is from 7 to 12. Start from here, 29 plus 56 plus 40. So 19 plus 21 is 40. 56 plus 40 is 96 plus 16. 96 plus 16 is 112, plus 20, 132, 139, 146, 151, 153. I'm a little worried about my mathematics. I'm going to do it again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. There should be 12 numbers. There are two 21s. There's one more 21 here that I've forgotten. So I'm going to erase this. I thought something was funny. I wanted the number. It's, these numbers are very heavy. They should be more than that. 29 plus 27 is 56. 56 plus 42 is 98. 98 plus 35 is 133. Plus 20 is 153. 160. 166. 173. Sum of all of this. So I can add 7 to it. So we go to 180 to 185 divided by 13. So 180 to 185 divided by 13, that's my average. It's not 12, 
it's not 12 and a half 169 is 13 so it's not this not this not this even 13 and a half is not possible 14 is possible 13 into 14 is 182 182 is very much possible 14 is possible the rest are not possible so question says based on the information given, which of the following can be the average work experience so b has so many values sitting inside that could be this value that takes us to 14 so 14 is possible none of the others is possible nice blah 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 after uh, after re-entering the values of a and b and correcting the wrongly recorded value there's some one wrongly recorded value so let me read from here while rechecking her original notes to re-enter the smudged values of a and b in the records the student found that one of the 11 recorded work experience values that did not get smudged was recorded wrongly as half of its correct value after re-entering the values of a and b and correcting the wrongly recorded value she recalculated all the summary measures the recalculated average value was 15. We already did the total sum of all of these should go from 180 to 185. One of these. Right? But there is a mistake here. One number has been half of the value has been written. So the actual sum, sum of all 15, actually the correct sum is 13 into 15 sorry not all 15 numbers all 13 numbers sorry about that all 13 numbers is 13 into 15 which is 195 and so the mistake or where this went wrong i should have got something from i got something from 180 to 185 because i made a mistake and took one of the numbers as half of what it should have been but taken the original full value i would have ended up at 195 so what am I missing? I'm missing 10 to 15. 180 to 195 is 15. 185 to 195 is 10. So some number I've missed. I've, I've from what it should have been, I've left out 10 to 15. Instead of taking 2x, I took x, and that difference is 10 to 15. Are effectively I have to look at these numbers and say that number in this mix between 10 and 15 or that set of numbers between 10 and 15 that is the one that is that has been written incorrectly there's only one number like that that is 12 or we can deduce that this was actually 24 and we have written this down as 12 so the 180 to 185 should have actually become 195 because i miscalculated by 12 this number is not 180 to 185 but 183 b is such that it goes to 183 and then i missed out 12 it takes me to 195 what is b I, some of the 11 remaining numbers originally was 173 plus b is now 183 after the correction it goes to 195 what is the value of b b should be 10 Beautiful question. Step by step, we deduce, infer, make inferences about median, deduce what A could be very accurately and what range of values B could take, and then join the dot and finish this off. Hush.